In this question, we're asked to show that the first two non-zero terms of the series expansion in ascending powers of x are the natural log of 1 plus x plus the quantity. Now, x minus 1 multiplied by the quantity e to the x minus 1 are px cubed plus qx to the fourth, where p and q are constants to be found. OK, let's first deal with this bit right here. So what we'll do, we'll first deal with the natural log of 1 plus x. If we expand this now, what we end up with is x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4. So what we'll do, we'll just leave that alone for now. So that's the natural log of 1 plus x, and that, of course, continues and so on and so forth. I've just expanded the first four terms. If we now look at what we've got here, consider the following. Uh, x minus 1, we're going to be multiplying it now by the expansion of e to the x. e to the x is going to be 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial, plus x cubed over 3 factorial, plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial, and so on and so forth. And then we get minus 1. So what we can now say then is x minus 1 multiplied by e to the x minus 1 is going to give us x minus 1. And then the minus 1s are cancelling. We've got x plus x squared over 2 factorial, which is 2 plus x cubed over 3 factorial, which is 6, plus x to the 4th now over 4 factorial, which is 24. So what we need to do is add this one to this one right here. And this is what we want. So we've just seen now that when we've expanded this one here, so let's grab that up there now, and then this one here, what we end up with are these two parts right here. And all I'm going to do is firstly expand this one out right here. So if we expand this out, and I'm going to start with the negative one, we'll get negative x, then we'll get negative x squared over 2, we'll get negative x cubed over 6, and then we'll get negative x to the 4th over 24. Multiplying the positive x through, what I'm going to get now is positive x squared, so I'm going to end up with positive x squared, then we're going to get positive now on here, we're going to get, uh, what's that going to give me, positive x cubed over 2, so we're going to have positive x cubed over 2, then we're going to end up now with positive x to the 4th, so plus x to the 4th over 6, and then we don't need to consider the next term, okay, that's going to give us a term in x to the 5th, we can quite clearly see that here, we're only going to get um, terms now in x to the fourth. We only want to go up to x to the fourth. So let's collect all of this up. What we've got then here now is minus x. Then we're going to have plus one half x squared. And then if we consider this now, what's that going to give us? If we switch it up into sixes, three six minus one six is going to give us two six. So we can say this is going to be plus one third x cubed. And then we've got, uh, we'll switch these into 24, so we've got 4 24 minus 1 24, which is going to give us 3 24 or plus 1 over 8 x to the 4th. So what I'm going to do is take this, that's just this part here, and then we're going to add it to this one right here. So what we have to do is add this, and we've got minus x squared over 2, or 1 half x squared, plus 1 third, now x cubed and then we've got minus we've got minus x to the fourth over four which i'm going to write now as what can we write that as it's minus uh that's going to give us minus two over eight x to the fourth so all i've done is converted that into eighths so this is the top one that corresponds to that okay this one here corresponds to this one we're expected to add those two together so it's just a case of adding and tidying so we get um, minus x plus x is going to be equal to naught. We get now 1 half x squared minus 1 half x squared is equal to naught. We're going to get a third x cubed plus a third x cubed. So we get 1 third x cubed plus 1 third x cubed, which of course gives us 2 over 3 x cubed. And then we get 1 eighth x to the fourth minus, so 1 over 8 x to the fourth minus 2 over 8 x to the fourth, which will give us minus 1 over 8 x to the fourth. So we can now express this as 2 thirds x cubed minus 1 over 8 x to the fourth 
and what did they want it in? Um, Px cubed and Qx fourth. So we can say now that P is going to be equal to two thirds and Q is going to be equal to minus one eighth. So a nice bit of expansion. Looking at this, um, I've kind of collected the terms up here and got a common denominator and then had to do it again. You might just want to collect all of that, put it together with that, then get a common denominator. But that's purely just um, the arithmetic side. Hopefully that makes some kind of sense. You've just expanded these out and using the standard expansions. We know the standard expansions of the natural log of 1 plus x and e to the x. And then we simply multiply through, collect up and add it all together.